We're back. I did it. I got another locker. And I'm excited. Are you guys excited? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's see what we have inside. We're a big and bad. Finding the good in the bad. It's world big and bad. All right. Here we are. This is just a five by five. It is stacked to the bone with stuff. I'd paid right at 250, but with fees, probably closer to 270 or so. But this again is close to home, so I paid a little more. Honestly, I didn't think I was gonna win it, but here we are. Why did I bid on it? Honestly, I think it's just because I had an itch that needed a scratching. So I needed to get away from that whole interim job that I've been doing. I needed this, that is why. I bid on this locker. Ooh, what is in that trunk? So time-wise, I don't have time to go through it here. As you can tell, I got my little ones. You guys want to come say hi real quick? Want to say hi? Hi. hi. <laughs> so yeah, so uh, I'm just going to be loading this up. Maybe I'll do a time lapse. But and when I get to this unboxing, could be a day or two, but it'll be a few seconds for you. Well, there she is, all loaded. Not pretty. This gentleman did, definitely did not have things packed very well, so I just throwing it in. If you have two kids, you kind of rush. But I think I found a man cave. I mean, you can see here, I've got some Budweiser signs and some crazy kids. And then over here, it looks like a whole bunch, if you can show it to you, flip down here a little bit, whole bunch of beer signs. We'll take a closer look at those when I get back to the part-time picker shack. So yeah, I think we found a man cave. So yeah, let's get back to the part-time picker shack and see what we can find. All right, we are back at the part-time picker shack. Uh, it's been a few days. It's actually uh, President's Day. My kids don't have school this week, so they said they want to do some unboxing with me. You guys want to say hi? Hi. Uh, yep. So yeah, so we'll uh, actually we're gonna start with some loose items right now. Let me fix my camera down here. Oh, I've got lots of light and glare, so maybe I'll turn off some lights. So this is a snap-on clock. Uh, not like a high high end one or anything but it's kind of a cool little man cave piece like i said i'm call i think i'm gonna dub this one man cave because most of the stuff looks like it definitely was in someone's man cave set that to the side here so here's a vintage piece this is an old snap-on clock unfortunately the clock hand one of the clock hands is broken but i did see these uh sold comps for these on on ebay for over $120. So this one's not perfect. There's some blemishes, but I could get an easy $50 to $70, I think, for this one. Um, if I take it to a flea market, closer to $50, a little less. So we'll see what we do with that. Definitely uh, screaming the 80s and 90s there for sure. All right, we have ourselves some Miller High Life. This one actually looks a little older. Kind of a fun little piece, but yep, it, man cave, right? So this is actually a newer sign. They just bought it at some, you know, store. To hang up in their man cave you know i'll get 10 15 bucks at a at a flea market for that definitely wouldn't try selling this one online or anything what do you guys think pretty boring stuff right uh, man cave stuff of course <laughs> man, got man cave stuff of course and we're gonna stick with that theme right here we have ourselves another oh as i knock over my light it is a chalkboard, yep, but it's got uh, it's got a beer logo on it, so that screams man cave, right? Yeah, it has a little so it. some writing and stuff, but yeah, again another another flea market piece. Uh, this person definitely liked their Budweiser products, so another clock. Another clock. Yeah, and this one, it's cheap. I mean, that's going to be maybe five dollars at a flea market. Um, not much more than that. You want to put a little closer? Oh, you want to turn the numbers, huh? <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. This is the interesting thing. I showed these quickly, you know, when we were we were picking up and stuff. So these are definitely beer steins. 
I don't know much about, but let's take a closer look at him. That's got like a train scene on it. Yeah, this is definitely oh, it's Avon. I wonder if all these are Avon. Nothing screams man cave more than an Avon beer stein. <laughs> so, I wasn't expecting that to be Avon, so, okay. Um, yeah, that's definitely man cave. Yeah, I guess it's definitely, yeah, oh, and this is a smaller version of that one. Yep, so that's definitely, so it's a little set. Oh, it looks like there's a couple like that. What do we have here? Little cowboy scene. Do you guys see that? The cowboy last one, the, the bull. Yeah, definitely. Old timer, and I think this is the, oh no, maybe it's this one. This one goes with that. Does this one? No, that one goes with a different one. So yeah, these are like little sets right here. What's this big old piece? Uh, it says San Francisco, California. 20p the gold rush yeah again avon 80, 1987 on that one so i mean it's vintage but i've been finding a lot of avon lately and honestly just i mean there's not a high demand not a lot of money in avon products that i've, I've found so far maybe the beer steins will be different oh yeah okay so this is 1910 stanley steamer you can just tell it's made by avon avon just the quality and then that has a matching cup as well. Are you okay, bud? Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, look what we have here. What was this, Lillian? Do you know what that is? Liberty. Liberty, yep. So the Statue of Liberty, it does look to be broken up here, unless that is supposed to be the torch, but I don't think it is. It looks broken. But, yeah, so that's, again, definitely probably Avon. Yep, 1998. Oh, that's a little newer. Still vintage, but not in the 80s. So, what do we got here? Oh, Springfield, Mass, December 1891. A century of basketball. Yep, and what year was that? 1993, it looks like. Oh, we got something in there. Oh, it's just paper clips. I was so excited to maybe find some gold and stuff. I guess I should, most of the other ones feel empty. I said, I probably should peek in there to make sure there's no cash or anything stashed in there. And then this one says 1920 for something about football. Handcrafted in Brazil, 1983. But yeah, I'll have to do some research on these. Not sure if there's any value there, but kind of interesting. Let me put these away and we'll, we'll look at the next box. I see something peeking through this box, guys. Okay. What is that? Look at this. Well, yeah, the remote. Do you want the remote? Yeah, so here is a plate that says, you know, United States of America and God we trust like a coin would. But then it has these gold coins. <laughs> so, oh, oh, this is a 1776 to 1976. Oh, you know what? Like, again, it almost looks like they re-glued things to me. But I'll have to look into that. That's so weird-looking plate. That is a weird-looking plate. They got money on it, huh? Oh, and then it looks like we got this. looks like it must have been a young man's room. Got some baseball trophy all right so we do have a watch here it does not look like anything high-end it actually feels pretty cheap it looks like a man cave. okay there's some stuff in here that's what i was gonna say i'm pretty sure my boy spotted this already here's a couple yeah. hot wheels you might want those now yeah do you want a car do you want a car that's you win a car you win a car you win no all right. all right buddy okay remember the rule we don't reach our hands in because there might be a sharp, ob a sharp object. Only Daddy puts his hands in the box. Looks like we have some perfume samples in the bottom of this, like just a uh, cigar cup, it looks like. Cigar lounge. I don't know what that is. We have an LG phone. Oh, look, but here is some more little cars and matchboxes. Uh, they don't look like any red line or anything, so guess what, buddy? Here you go. You can play with them. Just don't make too much noise. Oh, there's a green truck, a little low rider. Boom. Low oh, yeah, rider. Oh, wait. Copyright. So. A phone? <laughs> You're too young for a phone, my young lady. No, I'm not. Here's your cars, bud. All right. Always an adventure uh, trying to unbox with my kids. They want to they wanna do all the talking, so, which I get. Uh, I guess that's a, yeah, that's an alarm clock. Yep. Yeah, okay. Oh, look at that. There is a truck. Truck. If that was in its box, it would be actually worth a little money. I actually sold a bunch of these. Uh, I bought them at an auction for pretty cheap and resold them for like double, triple the money I bought them for. So there can be some value in that stuff. But that one's dusty and 
old and my little my yeah my little one probably thinks that he's gonna keep all of them he's not all right so i think that's about it we got some cologne oh look at more trucks more stuff that one's a Yep, yeah, and that looks like it's probably for some uh, other. We won't look at that. I think, they put a box. I think that's it. Magic cards. Um, not Magic the Gathering though. These are just uh, cards to do magic tricks. It looks and like. Yep, yeah, there are these perfume bottles, but they are all empty. <laughs> and a uh, little utility knife. Those always come in handy. Here's another loose item we had. I don't think there's much in here, but we'll do a quick check. Um, yeah, just batteries. Yep, there's a bracelet. It says Red Nose Day 2018. I think it's for a hospital. Okay, nothing in there. Just paper clips. A eh, little nice little organizer, I guess. Nothing great. So, so some more loose items. Uh, we are definitely in Patriot territory, I guess. So, uh, just a cheap little sign. Uh, this looks to be a grinding wheel that's brand new. There's actually, you know, there's not a whole lot of money in that, but the fact that it's new, I, I definitely can resell that. So, cool. And tools aren't bad things. If you're selling them at flea markets, don't don't expect to make a whole lot, but if you're, you know, you have other ways to sell it, you can make it a little bit. This, actually, I would plan on keeping, except for, oh well, yeah, that's, I don't know, I guess I could organize it and, and everything. Never hurts to have a tap and die set. That's for sure. I've I've used them more than once in my life. So uh, in my days of riding dirt bikes and stuff, I had to re-thread bolts more than once. So not a bad set. Too bad it's just so disorganized. But... That's what you get from a storage locker. That's what you get from a storage locker. That's right. So, all right, but no, not bad. Kind of cool. So this is garbage. We have ourselves a vacuum in. The honestly, just garbage. Oh, actually, you know what? There might be a shark. There's a vacuum in here. It might go to that. I'll set that to the side. Um, nice little just LED desk lamp, it looks like. has a USB port. LED, so okay. that's a, yeah, LED. But that could be sold at a, at a flea market. What's LED? Uh, LED means light emitting diode. So they use like, yeah, that's an old candle into the garbage. Oh, look at this, guys. Merry Christmas. Ooh, that that's kind of a fun little piece. Oh, there's a cash in. Ah, oh, it's just a receipt. Wouldn't that be nice if that was full of money? Daddy, no. So, Dylan, you got cars. All right, this is some type of tool. Is that an old soldering iron? What is that? That looks like an old soldering iron or something. Man, I would not dare plug that into a wall, though. Do not do that. All right, let's see what else is in here. Yeah, this is going to be mostly garbage, it looks like major garbage right oh wait i don't think it's even in there oh it is it is dvd oh look we have yeah we have a little halloween light uh we got the you guys want to see magic i'll spark Ooh, magic all right so yeah this is mostly garbage i do i thought i saw a watch oh yeah there's a watch down here Oh, a Patriots watch. Again, nothing great. Spar. I'll set it to the side. I have a whole bin of just watches. Are your hands freezing? Should we go get some gloves? Should I pause and we'll go get some gloves? I have All right, yeah. So if I find anything else in here that's worth showing, I will show. But I think this is mainly just garbage. What are those? No, gauze pads. Some batteries and another DVD. So, yeah, this is just like they just threw this stuff in. It's just garbage. So, all right, these were loose in the locker as well. This looks to be like a tablecloth or something. I'll have to open that up. To avoid danger, keep this plastic bag off your kid's head. Yes, yes, that that is good advice. So, um, we do have looks like a PlayStation controller. I'm not sure. Is this a three or a four? I'm not sure what that one is. So I'll do some looking and see if i get it tested i have not found a console yet so that'd be great if i found that so but with the amount of boxes i don't think i'm going to this is some type of harness yeah it looks like a little tool harness of some sort and then the rest of this 
is weird stuff. Uh, we could actually use yeah, this is literally just garbage in this. There's I bet I think we could use the eye thing you could use. We'll see. We'll we'll see. But yeah, we don't really need a need for that. And then there was another drawer. And these drawers, I don't see a piece of furniture that they fit in, so again. Yeah, again, I don't see anything in here but garbage. So. Oh, that's what I said. Wait! I see some money. We're rich. Look, there's a nickel. There's another nickel. I'm definitely going to keep my gloves on while I'm picking those nickels up because this is a dirty drawer. All right, we, we are 10 cents richer, guys. Woohoo! <laughs> I see why I had good eyes. All right, guys, we have a little box here, which I don't think is going to have much in it, but oh, it looks like it's just some mail. Oh, and it's not even a bounty ball. It's a ping pong ball. This color. You know who would love that? But I would love all that. I Oliver. Love that. Oliver would love that. All right, well, there's a power cord for something. I'll set that to the side just in case I find. And then this just looks like scrap metal. Yep, some bolts and just well, random metal. All right, we do have this box here. I do not. Uh, it doesn't feel very heavy. Oh, but you know what? They look like to be in there. Let's see if they're in good condition or not. Oh, those actually look brand new. All right, that's cool. Little uh, game headsets. They don't look like they're anything high end or anything, but that's cool. You can't complain about that. Oh my goodness. Ugh. This is heavy, guys. This is gonna be tools, I think. All right, I got a bin full of what I think to be tools. We have this nice little uh, rotary accessory kit. Goes with like a Dremel or a Dremel type tool. Oh, we got ourselves a triangle, which if it's not bent, I might keep because my I've dropped mine so many times, it's not a triangle anymore. So I have a hand, uh, habit of dropping tools. What is that for? That's a kickstand of some sort. Yep, that's a kickstand. That is what that is. All right, we have a whole bunch of miscellaneous cables. I'll have to go through, you know, USB, HDMI, power adapters of some sort. What is that for? But yeah, okay, we'll set that over here for now. Oh, we have some blasting, penetrating, something. It looks like some type of lubrication. Oh, there's another man cave piece. Budweiser, Clydesdales. You guys see the horse? Yep, little beer open, bottle opener it looks like. Uh, that looks like garbage. I can't believe I ever attempt to shoot videos with my kids because <laughs> it is a challenge. But we're having fun, right? All right, I have no idea what this thing is. Oh, it looks like it's a scissor sharpener or a knife sharpener. Yeah, I think that's what that is. So the power strips. Oh, there's the little uh, it's a craftsman tool. Okay, that goes. I'll put that with the rotary stuff. Um, you know what? Maybe we'll go through this and then I'll. No, let's just keep going through it. Let's just keep going through it. We got ourselves, it looks like a DeWalt power drill. That's not a bad little find. So, and then some more tools here. I'm hoping to find snap-on since those snap-on clocks and stuff. But, ah, uh, what? Tools aren't bad. Tools I can sell. Oh, but that is boo right there. That's just some old rusty bolts. Boo, you're right. All right, looks like we have like a utility light. Some uh, electronic stuff, more pit power cables down in here. Um, I'm going to have to dig through some of this stuff, see if I find anything else real neat. Have ourselves a ratchet. Is it snap-on? Nope, just a husky. Bummer. Yep. Okay. And then here's another one of these things. Oh, this one actually has the... That actually I can use for soldering. I might set that to the side for me. So, all right, yeah. So a bunch of tools. Um, like I said, if I find anything like um, like amazing in here, I uh, I would show you. But I'm pretty sure it's just all tools. So this is another loose item. Looks like a little Sony receiver. It has some gunk on it, but overall it looks like it's in pretty good shape. This looks to be like a little nicer receiver than the you know usual ones I find. So it is in pretty decent shape. So there's anywhere from like twenty to to, to sixty dollars. But again, I'll look up the model because I could be wrong and it could be one that has a little more value. Uh, but I usually don't sell these on eBay just because of shipping and stuff. But if it has enough money on it, I would do it. Some other loose items. I found a couple barbells here. Not bad shape. You know, those are always money. You know, 
the, and they can actually be, people pay up for for weight so depending on the ones so i don't know if these ones are worth a lot but always an easy sell all right here's a little mystery bag for us so uh looks like we have some hats they do look worn but ridge cut tough wear oh that one's disgusting there's our little wrangler cap clean that up my so but again these are, are pretty dirty looks like they've been worn so try to yeah or else they got dirty i don't know how long this stuff had been sitting there but it's it looked like it's been there a little while so what do we have here oh it's a little picture frame for your puppy dog it's got bone sorry showing my kids uh-oh oh there's a case for an ipad or a tablet of some sort yep oh what do we have in here guys safe locker oh how do i open this i think this is locked guys it says safe locker and then it's got this little button here and i can't get it to hmm all right well i'm gonna have to figure that out it does feel like there's something in there that's too small to be a handgun right i hope it's not a gun so all right we'll set that there oh we got ourselves a wallet any money i'm ri oh no money oh well <laughs> uh you love what i say rich so here's the box of something what is in here oh wait that's like a big huge light oh that's some type of uh vaping thing it looks like so not a fan yeah i think this is all vape we'll just set that to the side get rid of that got some bathroom stuff oh another wallet well, these don't look like they've ever been used, actually. So that's like a little Dockers one, it looks like. Well, I can use a wallet. Oh, we got a knife sheath. Where is the knife? Hmm, okay. Oh, here's a little tool. Ozark Trail. Oh, that is a knife. See that, guys? Yeah, that's pretty nice. Oh, that's a Kit, uh, Kershaw, actually. I think those are actually pretty good little knives. Oh, cool. All right, that's not a bad find. All right. I was hoping to find more of this kind of stuff, being that it's a man cave. So that looks just like a pill box. I don't know what's in there. A pill box. A pill box. Oh, more vape stuff. Throw that away. Looks like some cigars or something. Ugh. Yeah, that's what I say. Ew. Don't know what that is. Oh, what do we have in here, guys? Here's a bag. Oh, got to take the gloves off. They're impeding my opening things. So we definitely found more toys than we expected in here, right? Uh, yeah, <laughs> oh, that's a little grooming kit. Okay, a little. Why yeah. Like a toy? Yeah, that's for trimming beards and stuff. So not as fun. Got like an ashtray with a. There's a wart. There's a little multi-tool. I don't think that's the Gerber or whatever. There. That's not a bad one though. Husky. It's a little husky. Yep. Yeah. Okay, this stuff's not as exciting for the kids, I don't think. So, is that a light? What is that? I don't know what that is. I'm gonna set that to the side. Another wallet. Money. Nope. I I think that if I say money, it will just appear, but it doesn't. So, but no, some uh, decent stuff. Here's a here's another multi tool. Yeah, Lillian's trying now. Okay, we do have another knife down here. A little Gerber. Oh. see how you open that oh there's a little safety on it aha uh -huh. there we go oh what is on that's like the second time i found a knife that's just covered in gunk i don't get that uh let's see if we can close that and keep that away from the kids all right money money it's not working is it but he's trying to find me money oh there's some money though there's a little knife a little true Okay, yeah, no, this is definitely good. We can sell that, Lillian. I can't sell it on Poshmark, but, or what is not Poshmark? I can't sell on Poshmark or uh, whatnot, but I can definitely sell it on eBay. So, yeah, we're finding some knives here. Another Ozark Trail. Okay, yeah, this. That does have camouflage. Very good eye. So, yeah, cool. All right, yeah, this makes me, uh, gives me a little bit more hope of stuff. There's a hatchet missing somewhere. Maybe I'll find it. A little cover. <laughs> It worked, Lillian. You said money, and I found some knives. 
Sound flow. That looks just like a little speaker for your phone, it looks like. Yeah, and so I think that's about it. Got a couple flashlights here. Let's see if they work. Yep, they do not work though. The batteries are dead. Yeah. Oh, that one works. Can I have it? Of course you can, because I knew you were going to take it. <laughs> Don't shine it at me though. All right, yeah, that one works too. There you go. That's how I keep my kids engaged. I just keep handing them random stuff from a locker. So, I don't know what that is either. That's some type of pill box or something. All right. So, not for. I think that's it for that box. All right, we got ourselves a little tool bag here. It doesn't look like there's much in it. Nice little head, you know, earphones, but they're, uh, they're past their prime, I would say. <laughs> so, yeah, but a little tool belt, DeWalt, DeWalt tool belt. Money. Some scrapers. Another triangle. Compass. Yeah, this just isn't anything great. This is. Yeah, that's about the same size. Oh, I got screws stuck in my hand. So, yeah, some leg screws. So I'm sorry if I can find the tool that uses this, that'd be great. So, but yeah, nothing great in here that I can see other than like just some random tools. The bag itself, if it was cleaner, not bad, but that'll just be some flea market, flea market stuff for sure. Yeah. Smells like laundry. Yeah, <laughs> that is big. So this is, looks like to be closed. I'll dig through it real quick if I find anything good. Oh, those are some Wranglers it looks like. I mean, not anything high in there, but denim always sells. I can do that usually on Poshmark or somewhere, or just at a flea market for a few dollars. But I'll dig through this real quick, and if I see anything good, I will let you know. All right, not much in that box. Um, this is a little nicer coat. I don't know if it's the brand. I'll have to look it up. Called Yukon Gear. It's a little dirty. It could be clean, but yeah. So that's probably one item. The regular pants. And then there were these Stanley pants. Again, I think that's the company, the tool company. And they look, they're just like a thicker, heavy-duty, like, nice work pan, it looks like. So, I mean, those are the three items that I could maybe try to resell them if I don't just donate this stuff. All right, again, we have another thing of clothes. Um, oh, this actually looks like it might have some work coats. So I'll dig through this again. And if there's anything good, I'll show you. All right, I was wrong. This is not all clothes. There are some tools in here, it looks like. Oh, glad that wasn't set. That would have hurt. Do you guys know what that is? A big old rat trap. I don't want to, that's not what I want to see in a box. It's rat traps. That means there's probably rats somewhere. Ah, uh, I don't think I've ever found a locker yet that doesn't have one of these uh, air mattress uh, pumps. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Must be a Vermont, New Hampshire thing because I sure find a lot of them. Old co caulking gun. Uh, yeah, some power supplies. Like, yeah <laughs> uh, again just just junk really most of this will just be scrap metal and other stuff if i find anything good i'll set it aside but this actually yeah i'm i'm a little let down by a couple of these boxes in here but i'm hoping some of the tools and other things save me hey watch out oliver oliver get out from me <laughs> my dog's getting my dog's getting under me all right guys I'm hoping that this one is the toolbox full of snap-on tools. That's what I'm hoping for. But being that I've been finding Husky so far, I'm not betting on it too much. Whoa, that is rusty old stuff. There's an old knife blade. Tools. Yeah, this is not looking very promising. A little Stanley tool. Another little knife. Allen wrench set. Yeah, this is not great. This is definitely not a great start for a toolbox. All right, let me set this down so I don't drop it on my kids. Uh, a bunch of sandpaper. I'll just put that in my sandpaper box. All right, here we have like a little saw tool, it looks like. What is this? Lizard cam. Whoa, hey, that's kind of cool, actually. So this is... Uh, you would put it down a pipe or something to see where the leaks are. There might be some value in that. You know, if it's working, I might just keep that for myself. And then I'll be able to put it under my kid's door to see when they're not cleaning their rooms and stuff. <laughs> they're like, what? <laughs> oh, look, here's a little hammer we could have used on your guys' project yesterday. Uh, locker provides a day later. Another triangle. Husky, yep. I am not going to find my snap-on tools. And honestly, not 
a lot of money uh, in this toolbox. The toolbox itself is kind of nice. I can get a few dollars for. Yeah, not not a great toolbox. Um, a little let down. I was really hoping for better tools than this, so uh, I read this one a little bit wrong. So I just thought I'd show this. This was loose in there. It's an old basketball hoop. Kind of cool that it has the old metal chains. That brings back some childhood memories to me. That's all the basketball courts had when I was a kid was the was the chain basketball. That noise. Ka-ching. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, the metal backboards with the metal basketball hoops. So yeah. Uh, actually, I think that could sell at a flea market. Somebody would like that. Well, my kids got bored pretty quickly. I think it's more that I found toy cars and they wanted to play with them. So I'm back at it by myself gonna try to finish up gonna show you a couple loose items here i found actually some pretty nice uh pool uh what is it cues that's the term pool cues um and they're actually you can tell they're they're just a little nicer this one is actually looks to be carbon fiber little cool you know pool cue and uh it's kind of cool so i mean i don't know if there's a lot of value in that there's the brand there so a couple pieces and then there were these wooden oars you know for canoeing etc one's longer than the other um they do look a little older but not like anything old old so nothing you know nothing great but still cool little finds so let's see what else we can find all right we have another random box here it does not look like that it's going to be anything great uh looks like some tools for like mudding or something what are these shelf brackets yeah, that's some type of and that's about it. So, so far this definitely hasn't turned out quite the way I was hoping. Uh, not quite the quality of tools I was looking for. Uh, so, but overall, you know, some of the man cave stuff and the, the knives, I think I'm going to be okay, but this isn't going to be a home run. That's for sure. And I do still have this. I, there actually might be something in this. Uh, at the end of the, end of the, the video, I'll try to get in it and, and we can see. All right. Another little just kind of a tool bin here, it looks like. Oh, that's got to be the case for that little, yeah, it is. It's the case for that little rotary tool I found. So uh, I'll put that together and keep those in one place. What do we have in the bag? What's the secret? Um, some old crappy speakers. Those are literally just going to go <laughs> in the garbage. Yeah, nothing good there. It's like the Chrysler symbol or something. More sandpaper. Oh, there's the, that's the Ozark Trail Axe. That goes with the knife, it looks like. So there's another set, a little gunky, but I can clean that up. So yeah, I'll put that with the, the keeper stuff. And what is that? Do not touch. Oh, some type of fan. Hmm. Huh. Don't know to what, but it's got those cool lights. Like, warning, warning, we. <laughs> uh, some more, looks like headphones, but they look like they are in pretty rough shape. Uh, I'll put them in like a flea, clean them up a little, put them in a flea market pile. Those look like brand new saw blades, so a little value there. Again, some cutting blades it looks like. Uh, all new, so I mean, that's not bad. That one looks like it might have been used a little, I don't know. So, all right. Oh, what is this beast? Oh, look at that. Again, it goes with that Ozark Trail. I don't think these have a lot of value, the Ozark Trail. Um, so, but still, okay, so I have a whole set that I'll try to put together. I think that was that sheets for that too. I found that in the other bag. So, all right, so we found them. So, and uh, sell that probably at a flea market too. 10, 20 bucks, hopefully. And after that, it looks like it's just gonna be tools and more tools, the wire cutter. Yeah, hmm. okay. Not terrible, not great, but uh, better than uh, poking the eye with a sharp stick. That's what I always say. On to the next. Oh, we got some daylight, so I'm just going to show what's in this big old husky case here. Ooh, there's like some weird type of green slime. What is that? Some type of tire? Maybe like that tire ceiling stuff on the top of that. Oh, where's my... I'm going to get some paper towel real quick. Hold on one sec. <laughs> okay, yeah, I don't want that stuff spilling on my uh, floor. Of my. Well, yeah, I don't know what that is. Almost like a paintball or something. Hmm, maybe there'll be paintball stuff in this. Been. Okay, I gotta put that in the garbage. Watch out, Oliver. All right, now we're gonna open up this case and see what's in here. Oh, more tools. Not looking great, great. Big old saw blade. Oh, what is this big old monster? 
little cooktop thing, little propane. That's not terrible. You know what? That was almost worth holding on to, maybe. It's not too rusty. Looks like it's actually in okay shape. It's missing its knob here. Hmm. Probably could find something. Okay, cool. Again, I could probably sell that at a flea market real easy. Uh, that might be where that ends up. So, Oliver wants to know what's inside here. Uh, another broom. So, again, not looking like the best tools. Ooh. Gorilla ladders. What is that? Is that like a... Never heard of gorilla ladders. Oh, interesting. So how does this work? Use only with gorilla ladders. Well, I guess I need to find a gorilla ladder to use this with. Hmm. Looks like some type of like clip for... Huh. There might be some value in that. I don't know. I've never seen anything like that before. So, okay. On to the next. Ah, uh, I'm gonna get down on my knees. Ah! Oh, is this fishing lures? Oh, this might be fishing stuff. I did find a couple fishing pools. Yeah, that's what this is. Okay. Doesn't look vintage vintage though, but a little bit of money there. Okay. Take that to the flea market. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it looks like there's two sides. This side looks a little empty though. I think the other side had the lures. Yeah, this has some just, yeah, nothing in there. And this is pretty yucky. I don't think people would probably just want the, the lures and get rid of the rest. So, all right, here. Hopefully I'm not got too much shadows. I guess you could clean it up. But yeah, a couple more. Little pond skimmer type one. Little frog. I do a little fishing. I haven't done it in years. I have a good friend that's his life and... When I first moved to Vermont, we would, we did a lot of fishing, so I really didn't have much else to do. But now I have lockers to dig through, so. <laughs> so that's my hobby. Little craftsman lamp, uh, questionable electro electrical wiring. So yeah, guys, this is not turning out to be. Oh look, I got myself a little vintage uh, handsaw here, though. Um, yeah, it's a Disden, I think. Yeah, there actually could be a little value in this. Uh, I mean, I don't know if it's a lot, but that's the, yeah, okay. Not a bad piece. Yeah, my last video, I showed a whole bunch of uh, of uh, saws. And I actually think one of the saws I showed was kind of like this, but it was the wrong handle on a blade, I'm pretty sure. Somebody pointed that out. So, And I enjoy the comments, so please share your, share your knowledge with me. I enjoy that. Oh, as I just whack my camera, sorry. Again, I don't know if I'd use that light. Questionable quality i think that's it guys i think oh look another one of these does it work i have i found this in a locker more than once too so a little bit of money there that's a tool so but yeah i think overall unless i find like some holy grail of like stash stashed in something in a sock or something i think we are coming to an end of what is in this locker so it's going to definitely be a, a stretch to uh, make a decent profit on this, but I think in the end I'll, I'll be okay. All right, guys, I think that's pretty much the boxes. I do have some loose stuff, you know, that, you know, some bigger items and so forth. So I'll kind of show you that, but I think, I think that's it. I think that's it for this video. So I'll, I'll show you this bigger stuff and, and we'll wrap it up. Yeah, so a lot of like loose items in, in this locker, like blowers for cars or filters. That's some type of filter, I think. Gas can, random tools. Here we have some, you know, car speakers. It looks like they build on their own. That old Pioneer speaker might have some value, though. I, I don't know. Uh, some tail lights. I think those might be for like a PT Cruiser or something. Uh, again, a little money there. Um, some metal shelving. Shelving never, it never hurts to have more shelving. Uh, so over here we have some ladders. The wood ladder is, is like all rotted on the bottom. It's really no good. But this little Werner aluminum ladder, that's, you know, 20 to 30 bucks maybe if I'm lucky. I, I would say closer to 20 if I'm lucky. So, yeah, so that's just some of the loose items. And then if you saw the time last, you probably saw these larger items here. Sorry, my barn is literally a mess right now. I During the winter, I just haven't had a chance to move some stuff. So this little thing here, the white one, it's just garbage. It's a particle board. It's falling apart. That's going in the trash. This one, though, this one's kind of interesting. You know what? I'm going to flip my light around here so you can maybe see a little better. 
This one, though, it's kind of interesting. It's a little Thomas Kincaid. Well, a little, I say little, but a big Thomas Kincaid clock. Definitely, probably from the 80s. There's some glass shelves I found that go inside. And then this clock part is just storage, too, as you, as you can see in here. Just storage. Uh, you know, it's just a little battery-powered clock. It looks like it must have had a chime of some sort. And they probably ripped it out because it was probably annoying. Probably one of the things I would do. But, I mean, not... I mean, I'd probably get 50 bucks for it. I would like to get 100 out of that. But just because of the style, it's definitely seven, late 70s, early 80s. But who knows? Maybe that style is coming back. And I can sell this thing for maybe 100 bucks or so at, the, at a flea market or here in my shed. But, yeah. So, that's pretty much the items. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, there's a few like nails, boxes of nails, those type of things. Uh, they, they were all loose in boxes, but overall, oh wait, that's not it. We gotta try opening that box that's locked. Let's get to that. All right, let's see if I can pop this thing open. I wonder if there's, oh, you know what? That's what it is, it's just missing the handle. Yeah, I think I got it. Oh, what's in here? Oh, nothing. They tricked me. Empty. <laughs> Got some names and stuff. Oh, yeah. That would have been... I, I was thinking it was going to be either a gun or just some stash away. It felt like something was in here, but it's just kind of a, a heavier box. So, too bad it's missing the handle to, to lock. But So, not what I was hoping for in that little box. But you know what? I am so glad to be back digging through lockers, looking for treasure... This one's going to be a stretch, but I think I will be in the profit on this one. Uh, and I, like I said, I'm just glad to be back. Hopefully this interim director thing is almost over. Um, it's, it's been a little uh, more hectic than I was hoping for. But you know what? It just feels good to be able to help somebody out. And, and they needed the help, so I'm, I'm glad I was able to step in. So, yeah. So hopefully I'm back to lockers. Hopefully I'll, I'll be making more videos. If you're enjoying these videos, please like, share, subscribe. Share your thoughts in the comments. And as always, stay kind. A little kindness goes a long way.